Doug Brown here from Death by Digital, and welcome to Death by Digital Digs. This is going to be a YouTube series dedicated to vinyl collecting. Each episode will have maybe a couple records, um, some things on vinyl history, maybe some collectibles that you don't know much about. It's not about the most rare and expensive things, it's just about awesome things that you should check out if you don't already know about them. So to kick off today's first episode, we're going to be talking about a few awesome 7-inch singles. Check it out. Up first here, I have a 7-inch that's near and dear to my heart. This is the Warsaw Unholy Grave Split. Warsaw, of course, are from Australia, and they are a pretty gnarly grind band, if you don't know them. Uh, a lot of people call that style of drumming the Hyper Blast. The Australian label that put in for this is called Violent Swing, and I think they only did a few things. Uh, Violent Swing, I know, is named after, like, the Hardcore Dance, and uh, Den from uh, Warsaw, I believe, was the one that spearheaded this, and I believe there's only three things on that label. Uh, on the other side, though, the Unholy Grave side, um, the label that pitched in from Japan was called Mink Records, and they did a whole bunch of different splits as well. This split in particular is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I believe it was recorded in 1996, but it was released in 1997. Um, if you pick up a copy of it that has the original um, insert from it, uh, this is a primarily a distribution list from Pluto Distribution, uh, which I believe was somehow connected with um, Mink Records. And if you look at this here, this is from spring 1997, so that's when at least this piece of paper was put inside this record. The sound on this is, is pretty typical from both bands. Uh, very, very raw lo-fi recordings. Um, you know, fierce though, like fierce as ever. Like I think a lot of people sometimes don't listen to stuff that's not overly produced if they're used to produce stuff. Um, and sometimes you miss out on some of the intensity. Uh, and I strongly suggest checking out that, that split, if not for, um, you know, two amazing grind bands, but also just for things that sound awesome. Check it out. <laughs> Up next, we have this incredible split between Rot from Brazil and uh, Germany's Entrails Massacre. Um, this was released on RSR Records in the early 90s, and what's awesome about RSR Records is they're still kicking and still releasing amazing stuff, so definitely check out their roster now. Uh, as for this split, both bands sound very different here. Uh, Lo-fi production for sure, but the Entrails Massacre side, I would say, is definitely more traditional grind and it's non-stop blasting, whereas Rod is definitely like a, a primitive hardcore band here. Um, uh, definitely look out for the copy that comes with this uh, amazing insert here. I'll, I'll scan this in for you. And, uh, you know, very typical of not just things in the 90s, but, uh, you know, punk in general, just like the cutout of different people's bodies and whatnot. Not um, Obviously this collage style, that we, which we saw in the early Napalm, uh, as well as hardcore releases on Earache and other labels. There you go. And the final record we're going to look at today is Soul Winter by 324. This is a Japanese grind band that actually hasn't released a whole lot of things. Uh, a couple full lengths, a, a few splits, a couple seven inches, um, but everything was absolutely top notch. One of my favorite things about this band is that you could hear everything without it being overly produced. Uh, the drums and vocals are extremely present in your face, but like the guitar is not lost in the mix. Uh, this seven inch came out on HG Fact, which produced a, a whole bunch of amazing things. Uh, Melt Banana, Discordance Axis, Hell Child, I could go on and on and on. So if you don't know HG Fact, definitely dig into that label. And if you don't know this 7-inch in particular, uh, I think this is some of their best material. Uh, certainly check it out. This concludes the first episode of Death by Digital Digs. I hope you enjoy and check out more coming up soon.